guys, Michele here and welcome to another DDT for all video. First of all, I want to apologize so much with you because uh, I know that uh, I didn't upload videos for a lot of time. But uh, today finally for you, but today finally for you, there is another DDT for all tutorial. The today tutorial is very important because finally we made to deactivate the traction control system on the Renault with digital dashboard. So it's important for you to have the car fitted with the digital dashboard, otherwise it won't work because there are a couple of uh, strings to modify with the DT4 all in uh, a couple of ECUs and um, so you must have the digital dashboard. By the way, the procedure is not so difficult, it's easy, and uh, if you follow my steps as usual, it won't be, there won't be any problem. So let's start with the video, guys. Well, okay, guys, here we are, and now let's make this thing happen. So, first of all, as usual, we have to open the DDT for all interface. Uh, for who wants to download it, I provide the link in the description, so please feel free to download the latest version of the DDT for all software. And uh, I suggest you always to have the latest version because uh, uh, it's way more implemented and uh, every time uh, every time there's an update uh, there are uh, several more uh, ECU in, in the software, so uh, I always suggest you to have the latest version. Okay. As usual, we have to select the uh, Wi-Fi connection because I have a Wi-Fi interface and then uh, I know that I can hire my car, blah, 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 as usual, and then we can connect to the car. Okay, it opens the software and um, make a little more room. Okay, uh, as usual, you have to select the car you have. Uh, I have the Renault Megane. For, uh, fourth version, so I select the Renault Megane 4. But if you have uh, Renault Clio, Renault Kajar, Renault Talisman, Renault uh, Chenic, uh, whatever you have, it doesn't matter because the procedure is quite the same. Uh, it's important that you have the digital dashboard, otherwise, uh, uh, this uh, won't work. So you have to have the digital dashboard. Okay, now select the car. Then the first thing we have to do is go to the ABS. Uh, double click on it, double click on ESC 1540 UDS V1.12 double click again here and uh, you probably you probably see the ABS uh, light blinks in the dashboard but it's normal because uh, uh, when you go into the when you go into the uh, ABS uh, ECU, uh, it deactivates the ABS uh, just for uh, uh, to change parameters. So if it blinks, no problem, don't worry. Okay, now back to work. We have to go here, parametrage, uh, ECU configuration. And the first click we, we have to do is this one. We have to go here, we have to select uh, where is it? Uh, we have to just here. X grip function activator deactivate. So mine is already activated because I already have activated. So you probably see this deactivated. Okay, so now you have this, you have to select activated and then you have to write the configuration. First, remember to always aim the configuration by clicking on the instant phase and then once you've done that, uh, click right, and then on this side you will see activated. Okay, this is was the first part. Okay, the, there's nothing to uh, reset here. Okay, now the second part is in audio, so we have to go here. Audio uh, depends of what uh, kind of radnav you have. I have the version 2.x version 2.5 because I have the version 2.2 but if you have the new version so the version 3 you have to select this version 3 okay mine is version 2 so I have to select version 2 okay double click double click once again here double click on configuration then ECU configuration part 2 okay we scroll down until we see this extended grip Okay, so what it does, uh, it adds the extended uh, uh, grip interface into the uh, R-Link 2 because when you go into 
into a screen that we are going to see in a while, you now have the uh, possibility to change uh, the behavior of the uh, traction control. Okay, so as, as I said before, you are probably have not present because you don't have it activated. I already have, so you have to not present. You have to click on present and then always aiming with the Einstein face and then write HMI. Okay. Uh, in this cluster, you probably have to do a key on off reset, which as usual resets the R-Link system. And once you've done that, uh, when the R-Link 2 returns on, you have to uh, do a hard reset of the R-Link 2, which as usual, you have to click a couple of seconds on the on off button. The system will shut down and will return on in 15 or 20 seconds. Okay, now, so once the system has rebooted, you may, it may take a few seconds to load the map, but uh, it doesn't matter. You can check if you have activated the uh, traction control by uh, clicking this, which is uh, ADAS systems uh, or uh, driving assistance. And now you may have this, which it means in Italian, it's controllo trazione, which it means traction control. And now you have auto, so it's uh, always on, so it's automatic. Or you can click on expert, which it means that, uh, as you can see in the dash, uh, which uh, it means that you now have the traction control deactivated for your car. So uh, when you click on auto, when you click on auto, it says automatic, so uh, the traction control is not dependent by you. But if you click on uh, expert, yeah, now expert mode activated, it means that now the traction control is deactivated. Please, guys, uh, take note that uh, uh, the traction control automatically turns on once again once you. Uh, go over 40 kilometers per hour so it's not uh, deactivated forever but once you uh, go faster than 40 kilometers per hour the traction control reactivated automatically and unfortunately at now there's no possibility to change this but i think it's useful anyway because if you get stuck uh, in snow or in mud you can deactivate the traction control just to uh, be more selfish on uh, trying to uh, <laughs> get away from the, the dirty or the snow or whatever or whatever it is. Okay guys, uh, also this video is going to end and uh, really sorry once again for all this uh, gap I, I had on the channel but uh, I had a lot of things to do and uh, unfortunately YouTube is not my work but it's a passion and uh, but uh, believe me that now I will try to upload uh, as many videos as possible on uh, the DT for all uh, tutorials on the Renault and other stuff I like. So if you like the channel, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment or uh, just uh, watch the video and uh, let me what you think about. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.